the Stone Age is a very primitive time where man had to rely on a lot of different tools in order to survive and to hunt. And so around uh, 13,000 years ago, man started to uh, work with uh, other animals, wolves, in order to hunt down uh, savage beasts uh, like uh, the mammoth and this kind of thing. And so we looked at uh, what we had in Far Cry and historically we have a very uh, rich wildlife and uh, we started to investigate the possibility for the player to tame the wild beasts uh, that we would create in Oros. All the beasts have their place, um, depending on how the player really wants to approach situations. With uh, the canines, you have a, a beast that will explore for you, um, who will alert you to nearby danger and growl. Felines are known for being stealthy, so if you're that kind of tactical, stealth player, a feline is your best choice for beast. The bear is your quintessential tank. It's going to take all kinds of aggro off of you if you encounter um, hostile enemies in the world. And then lastly, we have the honey badger. And the honey badger is really in a league of his own. You can send them, you know, to, to take out a small village. You can use them to distract enemies. You can use them to hunt. So I think it really opens up the types of gameplay that you can do. Uh, I was playing last night and I had a great moment where there was a small village with a couple of people. And I just went in with my saber tooth tiger and just slowly, one by one, we were picking out enemies. It was just such a good feeling. Far Cry, uh, when you come across a situation, you always want to uh, recon it first. Uh, and you can do that from your point of view, as Takar, but you can also send in your owl, who is going to act as your recon tool. He can view outposts from above, he can mark enemies, he can bomb enemies if he wishes, and the owl also has a specialized aerial attack. Sometimes they feel like they're more aware of what's happening than you are. So often, you're gonna be walking around and you see nothing and then suddenly you see your beast reacting to something. The bear, for example, is gonna stand on its back legs and it's gonna growl and scare those animals away without you even needing to do anything. It's a very different experience uh, because uh, usually uh, in Far Cry, it's a little bit more lonely. It's you against everything. So uh, the ability to have your beast at, at your side, it's, it's very rewarding. You now have a companion, you have a friend, you have a protector that will travel with you through the land and help you fight for survival. What makes, I think, Primal very special is that ability to have the animals. They're an extension of yourself and they are, I think, your, your ultimate weapon.